Yo, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel where today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to teach you how I make TikToks using Sony Vegas Pro 15. Now, it's a very simple process, but people get mixed up quite a lot. So follow along. It's not very long and let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is obviously open Sony Vegas. And once you're in Vegas, you want to press on this little settings icon next to the next to the video. And you want to go and put on these settings exactly how I put them. Now, I've got them saved, so I'm just going to load that up. You want the width of 1080 and a height of 1920. This is the most important feature. Then you want the 60 FPS of 59.94, which is the 60 FPS. You want 8-bit. You want the resolution rendering quality on best. You want the motion blur type on Gaussian. You want the deinterlace method on blend fields and the resample mode on disable resample now once you've done that you can you can name it i named my tiktok real because i did have one before but it was wrong so i'll just save this tiktok you can press this little save icon and it'll save your settings for you and once you've done that press apply and okay and there you go you can see how it's in a different orientation now so the next thing you're going to want to do is drag your file in here now i've got one here which is an 11 kill win that me and my friend got so I'm just going to drag that straight into here. And now I've got the markers so I know where everything is. So you're just going to, first of all, you're going to let the audio levels load. You can see it in the bottom left here. And then you just want to go and find where the clip is that you want in the video. In my case, it's 27 minutes. So we're going to clip that once the audio is loaded. So once this is loaded, we're going to want to go and find where in the video you want your clip from. Now, mine is at 27 minutes, 15-ish. So we're just going to go ahead and find that i'm pretty sure it is around it's around here so let's just yep here it is it's a really nice double snipe we're hit it at the exact same time if you just watch now that is that is where we want it so where you want to cut it from you want to press s on the keyboard and it'll snip wherever you want it to now we're just going to head a couple of frames forward to where we get the kill maybe a couple frames further so I can add like and follow on the end of the video. Probably till let's just zoom in a bit because I think it's jumping a bit too many frames. Yeah. There it is. So I'm just gonna cut straight after that. About here. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to delete either side of it. I'm gonna press delete on that side and delete on that side. So you're just left with the raw clip. So the next part is probably the most important part. TikTok doesn't like unused space. It wants you to use it all. So this is how you do it. So you want to click on the video track right here and press insert video track. And once you've done that, you want to click on the video and press U on your keyboard and see how it splits them up. And now I can move this separately to the audio track. Now what I'm gonna do on that, I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna paste it in the exact same place above. So now we've got two of the same video in, in in a row. So the next thing you're gonna want to do is on this track, I like adding a blur in the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the three the three little icons on the left hand side of track two, which says more, and we're gonna go on track motion. Now we're gonna pull this to the side so we can see what's happening here. So we're gonna pull it out until it covers the full screen. Which is about which is about here. Now I've already once you've done this, you can you can name it to whatever you want and press save. Now I I've done that when, and I've called it background because it's the perfect background. And then what I like to do is press the three icons again and go to track FX. And um, after that, you want to go to Gaussian blur and press OK. Now you can choose whatever blur you like. For me, this is a little bit too strong. I like 0 0.015 each way, which I do have saved as normal because it's because it's the normal blur that I go with. And all you want to do is just close it down. You can save it if you want to, as you can with everything. And now to get this video in the middle, you're just going to press the crop icon on this video. And once it loads, which is just taking a bit longer than I expected, you can press on this little this little icon here that is for the size about center which will which essentially it just moves each side the same now you can get this to wherever you want i've already got one saved uh it's called todd in ufc gameplay obviously because i'm todd in ufc and this is gameplay 
I like it about here because you get the bit a big chunk of the middle in and it's not really missing anything out. You can get you can get you can get things quite get things done quite well, essentially. And once again, you can name it and save it if you like. Now here's an important tip before we go on any further. Remember to always save your files at every major point because editing software, no matter what you use, Vegas, Premiere Pro, it always has a chance of quite a decent chance of crashing on you. So you just want to press save as name it as what you like in whatever folder you like. This is going in the TikTok folder. I've got obviously I'm making a TikTok right now, so killing two birds with one stone essentially. So what I'm gonna call it is duo snipe and this this doesn't mean anything and we're just gonna save it and we've got it saved. So now we can move on to the next part. So for the next part, I'm going to add in a little intro. Now this isn't really important, but I, I like doing it because it sets a tone for the video. So I've got it right here and I'm just going to drag it in to just to wherever. But make sure the audio is on a different track because we want to turn this audio down and this audio up so that you can so that you can hear hear what's going on in the game perfectly and you can hear what's what I'm saying at the start perfectly essentially. So what you want to do is obviously I've got a background. Some people might not. What, what I like to do is I just open up the cutting tool and I make sure that I just get the border. So I've already got that saved as border, but it's easy enough to just pull to pull either side around the border. And obviously save it if you want, call it a name. And what you want to do is you want to take this track and drag it to the top so it's over each of the videos. And here's a here's a quite quite a good tip. You've got you can see where I'm speaking here. Now you can see this this patch in the middle. I don't want it in, to be honest. What we want is to get rid of this start bit because the start bit went wrong. So I'm just gonna zoom in a bit here, and that's exactly where the audio starts. So I'm going to press S to delete it, to to cut it even, and then on the end of it, I'm also gonna do it and delete either side. Now we can move this over to the video. Let's let's just let's just take a listen to it first to see to see if it is in the right place. There we go. That is that that is fine. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna press track motion on this because that'll move that'll move what's going on in the track. I want to make this a little bit smaller and put it at the top now you could leave it like this which is which is completely fine there's there's nothing wrong with it or what you can do is you can add a little bit of text to the start now i'm going to show you how to download some fonts because let's be honest the the, the vegas fonts aren't great so i'm going to show you how to do that really quick stay tuned so what you want to do is you want to go to dafont.com and now this is going to show you loads of different fonts that you can use. I can't remember which one I have. I think it's, I think it starts with N. So I'm just going to press N. But there's lots of different things that you can do with it. Um, is it called Nahan? I don't know. I'm going to show you which one I have real quick. That's the font that I have. And the, and uh, all you want to do is you want to open it. It'll show you the different the different types. Now I like the one without without the without being fully bold. And it shows you everything here, which I which I really like. So what you all you want to do is press download, and you just want to open the zip file and press on whichever you like. And all you want to do is press install. Uh, it's it, it's as easy as that. And then you're just going to restart Vegas. So I've already got it installed, so it's not really important for me. So you want to go to media generators along the bottom here. Then go on titles and text and pull sample text down into the video. Now, once this is loaded, I like to put it in the center and you can just search for your font here. I know mine's called Nihad. So I'm just going to put N in and it should take us down to there. Nihad regular or Nihad hollow regular. So I'm just going to type in. Oh, no, I'm changing the font. So I'm just going to type in um, once, we, once we get this back up. Um, The most. I'm gonna leave a line because I want to do the in sync in a different color. Snipe. So once you've done that, you're just gonna close it down and it should pop up on here. Just a tip on this one as well. 
what I like to do is I like to make the font smaller than it needs to be. Um, I've probably about 24 for this one, but you can click on it and see how it looks. And I think that is that's a pretty decent size, so I'm just going to leave it as that. I'm going to, once again, insert a new video track and do the same. But I'm going to put in the word that I've missed out. So I've missed out the word in sync, which I don't know how you spell it. So let's just go to Google real quick and I'll be back with it. So I was right, it is just in sync. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to make it the same size as the text before because that's really important. What you want to do is, I like going to text colour because I like having one thing a different colour and it's usually blue because that's my favourite colour and that's what the channel, that's that's kind of the channel's colour. And then what you want to do is you're going to press track motion again and if it's not in the middle, put it in the middle but you see mine is in the middle because I didn't move the first one and that's that's easy enough, that's, that's exactly how you make it. What I'm going to do though is I am gonna I'm gonna cut this audio with S and I'm gonna insert an audio track because I listened over it and this one is a little bit too loud so I'm just gonna pull this down to about minus thirteen just or just over where I'm talking and then this 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 is it essentially you just want to drag this to where wherever you want it to cut off and he has a, he has a really cool feature that I like if you want to add a transition you can just zoom in and when when you click it gets like this you click like your mouse you just want to drag it to wherever you want I like between 0.5 and 0.10 of a second and that'll just that'll just insert a fade so it'll just fade out like this or my favorite one you can go to transition and then insert other and you, there's plenty of different transitions to pick from but I prefer the slide one it just looks more professional slide in at zero now because this is slide now we're going to put slide out at 180 degrees and you can see here it slides out now I'm going to do the same with this one but I'm going to do slide out at zero degrees so they go in different directions which I think is just make the video you know it just it just pops you're going to put zero degrees and direction out so that's how you make a TikTok. So the last step though is you want to you want to highlight it all, press file, render as. And once this loads, I've already got my TikTok saved, but pick a pick a template and press customize template. I like the Magix AVC slash AAC MP4. But remember to customize a template. You want about a 50 million or a 60 million bit rate. A uh, maximum of 60 million and, a mi and an average of 50 million. That, that, that just makes the video flow. And remember that you've got to put the frame size as 1080 by 1920. Otherwise it won't work. It'll look compressed and it'll look, it just won't look good. And these are, take a screenshot if you want. Type it in and save it. Everything else, everything else can stay the same along the bottom here. And then you're just going to press OK. And once you've done that, find wherever you want to render it and press render. Because it's a TikTok, it should only take, it shouldn't take more than a minute. As you can see, mine is going quite quickly. So now, once it has been rendered, you can press open and see how it's turned out. Because this is the most important part. Because you've got it here saved and you can go back to it if you need it. So we're just going to open it. See, that was perfect. It's a, it's a simple clip. Everything goes well. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this up. And we're just going to give one last save on this and close it. And that is how you edit a TikTok. So now the next part is optional. From your desktop, you can go straight to TikTok and upload a video. Or you can do what I do. I put it in Google Drive. What you want to do is just press, just right click in your drive and upload files. Remember, Google Drive is a free software. So it's it's easy enough to pick up. And then you just want to go and find your video wherever it is. Mine is in TikTok and edited. And we call it Duo Snipe. So we're just going to stick that in there and it should upload. And once you've uploaded it, it'll go to your phone or it'll stay in your drive. If you open drive on your phone, press open in on the video and then press open in TikTok. It'll take the TikTok editing screen where you can add music over it. You can add the TikTok uh, writing effects, anything that you want that TikTok does. You can just you can just add it on like that. That's why I prefer doing it this way. Thank you all for watching. If you made it this far in the video, it's greatly appreciated. Leave a like. 
if this helped if you enjoyed it leave comment what you want to see more of if you want to see more content like this and subscribe if you are new because i want to post more content like this and i do post a lot of call of duty videos i'm trying i'm trying more and more now on youtube because tiktok isn't going so great at the minute speaking of tiktok all of the links for everything else is down in the description i have tiktok instagram Join the Discord server and Twitch where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Friday nights with sometimes an early stream on a Tuesday or a Wednesday as well. It's greatly appreciated if you go and check us out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.